us. So yeah, it's yeah. electronics day. It's R and D day. Colton Breeding. We're on it. Chad Hoover. Craig. Apex Watercraft <laughs> here prototype. So what do we got? So we're so I brought over this Lawrence HDS nine uh, carbon because this is the, the graph that we're gonna put in the unit that we're giving away um, on my channel. Yep. And so of course the reason we were gonna put an HDS nine in it was because that's as big of an HDS as I had, but of course, EJ went up to me and went and grabbed an HDS-12. So instead of putting the HDS-9 in this boat for testing, uh, we're going to put the HDS-12 in there. And the, a lot of you guys are going to ask why. And the actual question you should be asking yourself is, why not? <laughs> cool. So or, what kind of mount are we going to stick it on? Wait, we're, gonna, we're trying to figure out how to flush mount it right now. So what are some of your ideas, Colton? Well, pretty much what we're going to do, we're going to flush mount it inside of a hatch where you're going to be able to access anything inside it while your unit's still attached. And we're going to make it bolt on to where you can take it off and take it inside at night. All right, sweet. So basically, you have a flush mounted electronics in the dashboard of which you'll be able to, you said you'll be able to remove it and then... Yep, yeah, you'll be able to remove it and you can put different hatches on if you like. Like a blank off plate or yep. something along those lines. Okay, sweet. So in here, I've got the HDS Live 12 from Lowrance, flush mounted in the dashboard. Obviously a nine inch would give you more space um, around it, but a 12 inch fits awesome. Uh, you'll be able to see how we flip it up, like uh, all your, your battery, everything inside, transducer mounted for shoot through the hull. Pretty sweet, so 12 inch live screen right here. Um, we'll do another video on outfitting on how we can either custom do it for you or we can let you um, install the electronics yourself.